Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my TBR check-in and book haul for the month of June. It has been an excellent month in terms of catching up with the TBR. So let's just talk about it, shall we? This is what June looks like. I read 12 books off my shelf. I, no, I'm sorry, I read a total of 12 books, nine books off my shelf, two books were brought in, zero books were unhauled and that left me with a minus seven which means that i am at 100 on my physical tbr can you believe it that is fabulous i did not expect that to happen i just just figured it out when i updated this chart right now this moment before i started filming this video so that was very exciting um we'll see what happens in july i've already <laughs> brought in more books in july than i did the entire month of June. I only brought in two books in June and I've already read one of those. Um, I didn't read it in June, but I did read it so far. I finished it up in July. So that is really excellent news. Um, you can see right here that I only have one, two, three, four books left on the ancient TBR. That was the uh, book stack of 11 books that were left. They're the oldest books on my shelf that I'm trying to read through in this 2024 in this current year. Um, the two books that I read last month off that ancient TBR shelf were Silence Fallen by Patricia Briggs. This is in the Mercedes Thompson Urban Fantasy series. I don't even know which number it is in the series. I've had this book forever and I don't know why I left it sitting on my shelf because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed reading this book. Um, obviously, you can't just jump in at this book. You have to start from the beginning with Moon Called. That's the first book in the series. But um, yeah, I was really, I felt really um, ridiculous for having left this book for years on my shelf. Uh, and I bought it like at a library book sale a long time ago. And I don't know why I just didn't pick it up, but it was excellent. And then I listened to an audiobook. This, The Johnstown Flood by David McCullough, I had a long day of driving for work. I had to drive like seven hours total when it was all said and done. And I listened to the entirety of this on audiobook during that day, during that work day. Um, and this was also really excellent, excellent work of history. Again, I'm not really sure why I left it sitting on my shelves for so long. It is a slimmer um, David McCullough. If you like history nonfiction, this one is pretty good. It's only like 260 pages long. Um, and for him, that's a very short book. This is the book about uh, a community in, is it Pennsylvania or New York? Um, Pennsylvania, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, that is below a dam. And that dam fails and the ensuing flood wipes out the downstream communities, uh, one of which is Johnstown. So that was a very harrowing, but also really like very much the edge of your seat type of a read. So those two came off the ancient TBR, only four left for the rest of the year, feeling really good about that. Um, the two new books that I brought in were Fire Exit by Morgan Talty, which I just finished uh, a couple of days ago. This was a buddy read with Sean Breathes Books. And I had read Morgan Talty's book, Night of the Living Res, a couple of years ago when it came out. Absolutely loved it. That was a five-star read for me. So I was very much looking forward to this book, which would just came out in June. Um, so picked it up. Sean and I read it and I finished it uh, last weekend. So it actually I read it in July so this is one's this one's going to count um as a reduction for the month of July but it was new um in June and this is about uh, a man named Charles who um is uh takes place in Maine the man is named Charles he has a daughter a biological daughter who does not know that he exists she has no idea that her the man that she considers her father is not her biological father and Charles uh, is like pondering that issue as he knows that there are some health issues in his family line that he thinks maybe his biological daughter ought to know about. And this explores um, issues of ancestry, genetics, blood quantum, because his, uh, his daughter is growing up in the Penobscot indigenous community. Um, so she believes that she, both of her parents are native, I believe. And um, so that has serious issues and consequences should it come out that her father is white, um, as Charles is. 
but it deals with a lot of those types of issues. And uh, yeah, I will talk about this more in um, when I get to that in my wrap up for the month of July. And then the other new book that I brought in in June was Bite by Bite, Nourishments and Jamborees by Amy Nazuka Matado. This is a book naturalist book club pick for the month of July. So I will also be reading this one in July. Have not yet started it. It is a collection of essays about um, food and fruit and plants and that sort of thing. So I really enjoyed Amy Nazuka Matado's first book, World of Wonders. I thought that was an excellent book. Um, and so I'm very much looking forward to starting this one. This is a beautiful book. It has lovely illustrations in between the essays. Um, so yeah. Oh, I didn't realize there was crawfish in here. I didn't realize there were things other than fruit and vegetables and plants. Um, potatoes. So yeah, looking forward to diving into this one in July. So that's where we are. The TBR is at 100 books. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I had no... Uh, I had no goal set for when I would like to, when I wanted to get the back down to a hundred. I mean, we started the year with, um, at the end of 2023, the balance was 111. So it's taken me until the end of June to get to 100, but still, I feel like that's really good considering how many books I bring in in the meantime. I mean, it's not like I've stopped buying books or acquiring books by whatever means. Um, so that feels pretty good to be at the end of June and be at 100. It feels like doable to keep it under 100 for the end of the year, even though um, I know I have some probably book heavy months, book acquisition heavy months coming up. Um, but if my reading pace keeps up to where I have been, if I keep focusing on the books that I already own um, to read, uh, that should definitely continue. One thing that's um, going to uh, make this me continue to focus on my own personal TBR is that currently in the state of Maine, um, there is uh, the interlibrary loan system is not working um, between the public libraries. So I have my branch of the public library. I utilize the interlibrary loan quite heavily. Um, and the courier service that provides the, you know, delivers the books between facilities in the state um, is that is being disputed. Uh, the, the contract went out to bid and the state awarded the bid to a new company, not the one that had been doing it and now there's a dispute and it's gone to mediation and it's probably going to take the rest of the summer for them to work that out which is very frustrating and also like very um concerning considering for my book two prize reason reading i very often utilize interlibrary loans so i can't do that right now because it's not available to me um so that means that i will be focusing more on my own books versus going to the library and requesting books um so you know I guess the that, that's the silver lining to that cloud. Anyway, that's where we're at with the physical TBR and the new books brought into the house. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read. I'll talk to you later.